So I've got everything back in order again. Engines back together, injectors are in, done a bunch more programming. Because one of the key things about the programming is that because I've got a um, very low vacuum with the race cams, I've changed my scaling. So this is hard to see on the computer, I guess, but uh, basically 600 RPM to 8500 RPM, and then this is manifold absolute pressure, so 102 kilopascals at the top and then down at the bottom here basically zero. But I've got from 70 to 102 in this huge area here and then the rest of it compressed because it doesn't operate below this area. So one of the things I was doing, and I'll switch to something called volumetric efficiency here, VE, um, you don't really get to 100 plus percent with a race cam until you're up above the torque peak. Um, and I had it programmed to almost 100% volumetric efficiency all the way down. Now, that may work with a, um, a mild cam, a stock car situation, stock engine, but I'm not pulling any vacuum. I'm pulling, like literally at 1,000 RPM, I'm pulling like five inches of vacuum and you know a couple hundred RPM more, I get up closer to seven to nine in that range, but it's uh, so around 70, um, 68 to 70 sort of um, kilopascals. So never get down to the lower end of the table. So I've stretched this now, leaned it all out um, until you get up above 5,000 RPM and then I get past 100%. That probably with the race cams will you know, be somewhere between 100 and 110% volumetric efficiency above 6,000 RPM just because it's a you know, a high, highly tuned set of cylinder heads and everything else. But this thing needs way less fuel than I thought it would. Um, anyway, so there's, there's tons of parameters you know, the, one of the ones is like acceleration enrichment. So when you tap the throttle, you know, you got to squirt a bunch of extra fuel in and there's all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'll fire it up for you now. Uh, I got this kill switch that allows me to keep the computer running but, but, but kill the fuel and the um, ignition, which is nice so I can leave everything running. So engine's pretty much up to operating temperature. We're on with ignition. I just have to hit the button. And you will, you will see this thing come, come to life. So let's just see. Without too much reflection. Ah, there we go, a little better angle. And I'll hit the start button. And so the idle control will bring it down to 1050, where it seems to like. It doesn't want to be too much lower than that right now. And um, it's, it's happy. So you can see on the chart here where the dot is. It's operating just around 71, 73, kilopascals of uh, vacuum, so very little vacuum, and, um, but I've got the um, acceleration, um, fuel acceleration enrichment in there, so now the throttle responds nicely, so nice, uh, you know, nice crisp response. It's all, it's all good now. I'm really happy. I've got it all kind of dialed in enough. And the learning, it's continuing to learn, but it's holding kind of the parameters I want it to. So, um, Speedo works, all those other things work as well. So, I'm really happy. Anyway, there you go.